Before we get started with today's video, I have a huge and exciting announcement to make. We love our community and wanted to give back to it in a huge way by giving you a chance to win $500 in gift cards, signed prints from a few of the most popular voice actors in your favorite shows, and more. So stay tuned until the end of the video to see how you can enter to maximize your chances of winning. Today, I want to talk about an interesting trend in the Helliverse, which is the highest of the highest royal elites, constantly slumming with what is considered the lowest of the low in Hell, and even beyond that. So today, I want to talk about the weird relationships of Hell of a Boss and Hasbin Hotel, and what that says about Hell's hierarchy and their world. The heart of Hella Boss, if you will, is the dynamic between Blitz and Stolas. Season 1 presented Stolas as overly interested in Blitz, with Blitz keeping Stolas at arm's length and really only being in his life as long as he needs Stolas' grimoire to maintain his business. By episode 2 of season 1, we began to see how inappropriate this relationship was. Hell is a complex place in Hell of a Boss, as the demons are of course meant to be evil, but it also has to be a reflection of our real world values in some level for us to really proxy into it. In episode 2 then, Stolas' cheating was written off not as offensive because it was cheating, but particularly wrong because it was with one of the lowest of low in all of hell and right in their home. Stola seems to have something of a permission to go and sleep around with non-imps, but honestly, I don't think the outcome would have been much different if he had slept with any other species. I imagine the reality is that affairs are common in the upper classes, but kept private and considered shameful to flaunt around, much like in real life, and Stella would have found a reason to be offended no matter what because she's just kind of extra evil and really wants Stolas to suffer regardless, and also, really, who likes to be cheated on and have everyone else find out. Instead, I think this was meant to highlight to us the class differences and set up how inappropriate the rest of Hell will see this dynamic between Stolas and Blitz, such as came to fruition in Episode 7 of Season 1. Here we are introduced to the Demon Prince of Lust, Osmodius, who of course is also a king in the Ars Goetia. Here he talks about the relationship of Blitz and Stolas as the most degrading thing possible, with Stolas losing his whole family for this affair. Now, Osmodius is well known to be sexually involved with Fizzaroli, who we know to be an imp, and presumably other people do too, but that has not stopped him from being a sex symbol in all of Hell. As a single prince of the Lust Ring, Osmodius doesn't really have to worry about losing his family for who he sleeps with, and he's made it clear that as long as it's carnal, he can pretty much do whatever he wants with whoever he wants. However, he did sing at length about how love comes at the expense of lust, giving the impression that Stolas could never really love Blitz and was just using him for degrading pleasure, but we know very well that Osmodius himself is in a lovey-dovey relationship with Fizzaroli. They even act lovey-dovey together over how much they hate the lovey-dovey song that Moxie is singing with Millie. With the animatics we have of upcoming episodes, it looks like Fizzarelli and Osmodius were caught cuddling in a newspaper, with Osmodius being called a hypocrite. This most recent episode introduced us to Beelzebub, who I had theorized for a while now was actually the mysterious girlfriend who throws hellhound parties that Vortex had mentioned in episode 3 of season 1. This turned out to be true, making Beelzebub yet another royal elite who is dating one of the lowest of the low. In early livestreams, imps were said to be the lowest of low in hell, but hellhounds are often treated as one step below the imps even, which makes sense considering Blitz was able to just go and adopt Luna. Both are perhaps equally low for different reasons, but there seems to be a real class advantage if someone like Blitz can go and just adopt a young hellhound to use for his business. Now with Beelzebub, this is a bit more understandable, as she herself is a furry, and while she is a fox instead of a hellhound, they are basically her people, so to speak. It's still quite a big difference with one of the top players in Hell dating a lowly Hellhound. Vortex works for Verasica, but even she treats Vortex like a pet or her own property. Being the boyfriend of a prince of gluttony may be how she got a nicer job working for a pop star, but it doesn't translate to more respect even on the job. Interestingly, Lucifer also appears to be dating down, so to speak, though this might be a bit controversial. Lucifer is of course married to Lilith, who is the Queen of Hell, but her power seems entirely rooted in what Lucifer is able to give her. While Lilith is often presented as the one wearing the pants in the relationship, and perhaps having more control over Hell than Lucifer cares to notice, she is known in Jewish legend as the first woman to ever be created, even before Eve, made from the same dust as Adam. 
Adam, of course, seems to be a special angel of sorts in heaven from the has -been Hotel previews that we got this last year. But like with Lilith, Adam's power seems to stem from what the angels are willing to give him, instead of him and Lilith being naturally powerful spiritual entities as the first humans in the universe. Lucifer is not just an angel, but appears to be one of the highest angels, a seraph, and the most powerful entity in all of hell as a result. Angelic weapons do not work on him, and only an angel of higher power is able to smite him. But like the other royals, he seems happy to date someone at the opposite end of the power spectrum, and in fact, Lucifer gives Lilith more power than Stolas, Beelzebub, or Osmodeus give their partners. Osmodeus, of course, elevated Fizzerale to a level of great fame, making him a sex symbol throughout all of Hell with his endless army of love robots that Osmodeus produces at his factory. Blitz really gets the worst deal of them all, really just being under Stolas' thumb so he can keep his business going, with Tex having a much more inviting relationship even if it doesn't translate to a particularly different work life or level of respect for him. And Blitz's relationship with Stolas does not appear to be an isolated event, as we all know that Blitz dated Verosica. While she may have been seen as slumming it, she seemed to also have genuine feelings for Blitz if she was willing to get his name tattooed on her, and you can definitely feel her pain when she gets in Blitz's face when singing about how he abandoned her at a motel and took her car. Blitz was theorized for a while to actually be part succubus as fans tried to theorize what it was about this imp that made everyone lust after him. He appears to not be native to the lust ring at all, considering how actually hot the imps in lust are that have succubus features on them like their wings. At the end of the day, imps are the lowest of the low in hell, and even other imps will be shocked and mocking of Stolas when they learn that he is sleeping with an imp such as Blitz. But as far as exception goes, it does seem to be rather common among the elites, and it is their way of simply slumming it, it seems. Of course, in a show like Hell of a Boss, half the fun is interesting character dynamics, and power gaps are something that Vizipop loves to explore. Lucifer is the king of hell, and marrying a human at the beginning of time was probably controversial to the angels, but he didn't have to worry about them in the underworld. While well, he pushed his daughter to date in the upper classes, such as the native-born Saviathan Von Eldridge, she would ultimately date a human too in the form of the Sinner Vaggie, who had to be vetted before she could properly date Charlie, according to the online livestreams with Hasbun crew from back before the pilot aired. Beelzebub is seen as a party animal and practically a hellhound herself, it seems, so it makes sense that she might get with a hellhound. A lot of her image is being relatable and creating a party that people want to be at, so they keep making the strange honey she uses for brewing Bielze juice, and dating a hellhound just feels really on brand for her overall and something the other royals would expect of her. Osmodius as the Prince of Lust is being criticized less for dating down here as he was already openly carnal with Fizzerale, and more so that he's actually snuggling and being romantic with him, which wouldn't be an issue if he hadn't sang about how much that hurts his lustful vibe. Stolas, of course, has the most genuine feelings, but as the primary relationship in the show, there needed to be a lot of drama for the two characters to work through, and making them seem more like a rare, scandalous exception just makes sense, even if we see the rest of the royals' love lives littered with imps and hellhounds as well. And that brings us to how you can win a signed print from one of your favorite cartoon voice actors or one of our other rewards. All you need to do is join our Discord, which is linked in the description below, or that you can find using our custom Discord code, CartoonUV. Once you join, you'll be messaged by the crew bot. With crew, you can gain points, also known as tune tokens, by being active and sending messages in our server. There's also a brand new feature that just rolled out that allows you to integrate your YouTube account with the bot, meaning we will start rewarding you points for watching our videos and having conversations in the comments. That means the more you interact with our videos, the more entries into the raffles you will be able to make. So what's up for grabs? We've got three $100 Amazon gift cards going out, as well as two $100 Shark Robot gift cards that you can use at the Hasbin Hotel or Hell of a Boss merch store. We also got three signed prints from some of your favorite voice actors. We've got Michael Kovach signing as Angel Dust from the Hasbin Hotel pilot, one from Emma Breezy as Doll from Murder Drones, and even a group signed print of all of your favorite characters from Hell of a Boss. You can purchase these in the reward shop channel in our server or use the backslash shop command in Bot Talk. So what are you waiting for? Go get the bot set up, comment here with what you hope to win, and I'll see you guys there.